our stars are perfectly aligned. So what we're doing is going small in a very big way. This will be a magical place where ideas are spawned and the frontiers of research, education and innovation will be pursued. I feel very proud when I walk into the building. I'm very proud of our researchers. I'm very proud of our visionaries. I'm very proud of people who work tirelessly to make this day happen. When I see this building, I see the future of nanotechnology sitting in the heart of Waterloo campus. Walking into the building is, is really a wow moment. The beautiful architecture of this building leads to attracting people. The best researchers, the best postdocs, the best students from around the world will come here to Waterloo. These young people will be the leaders of tomorrow and the drivers of innovation in our society. Collaboration is absolutely essential to science. Science is far more social than uh, people in the outside world understand. And we need to have people working together, not in isolation, uh, scratching their heads, but in groups. The involvement of many different areas of expertise is absolutely key if we're going to develop this new computing technology. Within the, the Quantum Nano Center, there is the opportunity to bring together researchers from WIN and from IQC from many different disciplines to work together, to collaborate, and to see the potential of interdisciplinary collaboration and innovation. This building has been conceived so that it induces interaction between people. The building has a heart, the atrium, where people can congregate and kind of work together, whiteboards everywhere, so we can write equations and kind of work through the thinking and kind of see where are these ideas are leading to. What we hope will happen here with students and researchers bumping at each other and tapping each other on the shoulder and say, hey, let's go for coffee and let's ask those questions. Since the 1960s, Moore's Law has uh, observed and correctly predicted in decades afterwards that computation will double in speed and have in size every two years or so. That has carried on long enough that we're now down to the level where we can see individual particles. The technology of the 21st century really needs us to understand things at this level, a uh, quantum level. It has the right specs for doing the experiments that we want to do. Very low vibration very good temperature control, very good humidity control, very good electromagnetic radiation shielding. So from this, we can have the right environment to be able to control atoms, molecules that encode quantum information. The QNC will have a suite of state-of-the-art tools that will enable researchers to make, uh, manipulate and measure at this nanoscale. What is really special here is we have a continuum of analysis and understanding ranging from the subatomic, the atomic, microscopic to the macroscopic. I really look forward to the great discoveries that are going to come out of this building as a result of the foresight of the institution. We don't expect immediate outcomes today. The outcomes will come, but we need to be patient. And if you add to that a little dash of the spirit of entrepreneurship of Waterloo, you know that wondrous things are going to happen here. When we do science, we don't always know what is going to be the end product. We have to take risk. 50 years ago, doing computer science here was really a big risk, but it has paid off. Waterloo is the perfect place for this type of venture to start. This doesn't exist anywhere else in the world.